one of my favorite drill to build a good pick and roll defense. You can run this five minutes every day and it's very simple. All the guards here, wings and guard, all the bigs under the basket. Eh? You can run home if you want. Eh? Come on Pokusevsky, look, look. Okay, perfect, in pairs. One and two, okay, offense and defense, let's go. I right, play defense, you, you want to run the bigs, you play defense. Ah, uh, guys, sorry, there are people here that are here to see us do our best. So this is a defensive drill, if you don't do it, well, I have to repeat it, what I can do. Okay, stay there. The rotation here is offense, defense, out, and then you go in. So it's two on two, top pick and roll. If you are able to guard pick and roll two on two, you can guard any kind of pick and roll, okay? Live drill, two on two, pick and roll. So you start under the basket, you're on offense. Defense. <laughs> Last time you played defense, when? Okay, perfect. You sprint and you set a pick and roll. The, the coverage now is flat, okay? Clear, boom. And if it's high, you can go under, okay? I just want to show you what kind of problems you're gonna face coaching this drill, okay? Don't look if they do it perfect, look of how I correct them, okay? Clear, then here, both go out, other two, and next time you go in, offense, defense. Clear? Ready? It's live. There is a basket, a defensive steal, or a defensive rebound, okay? So we play. All right, let's go. Okay, no communication. If you have an assistant coach in this drill, he must coach the offense. You want the offense to put you in troubles so you can improve. So now I give you the rules, okay? Responsibilities. You have to call the screen early. If you call the screen after the free throw line, the point guard is dead. There's no time to react, okay? As soon as he calls screen, okay, you angle your position, okay? And you force him to one side. You have to honor his foot. So if he plays like this, okay, you help there. Clear? Okay? Responsibilities. When we play high flat, the big guy is responsible for the layup of the guard and the role of the big. How? What happens every time my man here sprints and because we are flat coverage, the big guy stays home. Hey, screen, 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 okay? If the point guard is smart, will engage me, dribble, okay, roll, 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 roll. You are out, Pokusevsky, okay? And now, this separation is something that will kill me at the end of the play because I will have to move a player from the weak side and good coaches will put you a shooter there and there will be an open shot. So I want to guard and stop this pick and roll two on two. So if we receive a pull-up jumper, I cannot start bitching on him because this is not his responsibility. The guard should fight the screen and get in front as soon as possible and contest the jumper. The big guy is not responsible of contesting the pull-up jumper because the most important thing when you play this coverage is that the big guy on defense respect the line of the roller. Never help across. Go. Screen, screen. Okay. Roll, roll. You see, I'm not with the line of the roller. So your job is to try to steal half a second, giving him the time, and I, oh, I'm always of the lob. Two on two. If you play two on two, you don't want help from the weak side. If you want help, you do something else. Okay? It's clear. Now I want to see all the things together. Hey, ball in your hands. If, you know, I give you a suggestion, you know, maybe 
you do like, like this and then you go under on the first one so you don't have to play a lot come on go okay rotation let's go rotation let's go let's go no no ladies let's go ladies go bravo stop 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 you you don't have a chance if there is sepa the separation you have on the first three steps of a sprint is the separation you're gonna have for a layup stay with her if you want you can put your forearm on his on her head sorry go let's go bravo get in front get in front stop excellent defense bravo Aide, let's go let's go can you have another ball let's go we can do it better okay 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 one more time the screen was very high okay you don't want to go high uh, when the screen is so high over the screen okay again put pressure on the ball I did I did stop 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 what's wrong you are not with him same line same line you have two you, are, you have two steps of separation two steps you're done let's go bravo excellent excellent let's go let's go let's go five four three two okay you got the drill any questions about this you can run this every day next drill um, the drills I'm gonna show you are not part of the same practice I'm not giving you what I do in one day I'm picking in the portfolio of the best drills for me okay bigs the four bigs here guards and guards ball to the bigs another pick and roll defense okay ball, per, so one okay 24 offense perfect okay perfect okay now when you run drills the thing you have to avoid is that the player navigate through the drill they know exactly what you're gonna do what you want to see comfort zone comfort zone kills the improvement coaches and players eh? so put together drills where they have to face something that is unpredictable you're the boss Pokushevsky okay so you pass the ball wherever you want okay perfect okay maybe you go a little lower we play bass and now he's the leader he can choose to go <clears throat> in a pick and roll action that is a drag action in transition or he can choose to fake go screen on the other side boom you use the screen and you play pick and roll after bravo Pokushevsky. okay so usually organized team has one kind of coverage on the on the, the drag action because they don't want to open the defense with 20 seconds on the shot clock so our coverage on the drag action will be under okay and then I will show you one very important detail because whenever you say under they think no defense under is no defense under is a tactical defense and you have to know how to do it because what they do under is this I'm worse defender than you so I can do it pass the ball under okay and like this it comes to screen you and you are done you cannot go under so when you want to play under on pick and roll defense that I believe is a good choice in transition early pick and roll you go very close like a normal pick and roll on the moment of the screen you go under and if the big guy is so good to hold you you have to spin off under to go and meet your offensive player and get in front here guys you will see it's extremely 
come on under, they crash in the screen. Because they think under is something easy. Under is not so easy. You need to do it very well. So you are aggressive. I would say one forearm. And then you gun under at the last moment. So you are not an easy target to screen. If you cannot go under right away, you spin off under. I have a question for you. If the, the guard on the pick and roll shoots a three and makes a three, whose fault? Coach, bravo. And you say, it's my fault. Or, we want that. Are they going to win the game with this shot for 40 minutes, 48 minutes? I don't know. I see this shot in the first quarter, sometimes in the second, then when it's gusto, huh? when it's a little bit thick, I don't see that shot. Keep in mind this, you have to live with your choices, okay? Clear, but top pick and roll, flat. High flat, okay, clear, let's go. Bravo, bravo. Stop, 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 stop. Why you didn't go under? Guys, I know it's not easy. You are cold and everything, but we need, at least if I tell you what you have to do, try to do it. Give me your best. Your best is enough. Okay, one more time. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Stop. How to go under? Listen, you are big and strong. It's not easy for you to go under. So you need to use the like technique again. I'm, I play defense, okay? Boom. Wait, you're close, and you go like this, and you go to meet him, not on a three-point line. You are not responsible for this. You go there on the elbow, okay? Let's try one more time. Let's go. Offense, defense, defense out. If you don't play pick and roll defense, what do we do? Sorry? If you don't play pick and roll defense, what do we do? You didn't play. Lay up. Come on. Offense, rest, 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 rest. Let's go. Stop, stop. Guys, guys, guys. Two guards here. They are out. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Talk! Call the screen! Talk. Talk, talk. Hey, screen. Screen. Let's go. You can do better. Brava. Excellent. Excellent. You can go under better. We play. We play. Okay. Now, my favorite drill anytime. Really. I see players in EuroLeague dying in this drill and their brains start frying. It's the best drill I ever found to play the right way. Okay, give me three lines. Top of the key, wing and wing. There's no position, no guards, no big, no nothing. Okay? No, let's do it like this. Come here, you, you go there. No, sorry, go there. Okay. You go there. Number eight, there. Okay. No, you go there. Perfect. Pokushevsky offense, you play defense. Offense, defense, offense, defense. I call this three on three mismatch drill. So the drill, has the purpose to play in emergency situation of mismatch, offense and defense. So it's clear, and it's done by the rotation of the drill, that now we have this problem for the defense. Okay? And you're playing three on three. You won't have a lot of help from the weak side. So we need to stop them, or you need to score, playing from this emergency situation. This happens in a game many times. Uh, please exchange with her. Perfect. 
okay? It's live, three on three. Clear? We play to score and we play to stop them. Let's go. Great, you have a great player. Go back, look what he did. Okay, Mr. Pokushevsky was a little bit slow and when you are slow, you give the chance to the defense to react. So, he said, I have a problem here. What can I do? Okay, I go and I scramble. So, boom, I do this, okay? And you don't have a problem anymore. At least we have a better situation, but the shot clock is running. Okay, so what you can do to kill this move? Five, four, three, two, one. No answer? I give you the answer. I'm paid for that. Okay, ball here. And if you pass the ball there, ah, it's a, I told you, frying here. It's, and Euroleague, if they are not focused, the drill sucks Re believe me play let's go stop correct i want to ask you one thing you are uh, very tall why you catch the ball outside the vein this will be two free throws and one worst case scenario two free throws okay perfect rotation offense defense defense out where is the mismatch now? Where is the mismatch? Fine, let's go, play. Where is the mismatch? Go. Stop, stop. Okay. You need a little bit of personality. Okay? The mismatch, you are the mismatch. Okay? And you don't have to be afraid to try to beat him. If you're afraid, you cannot play ball. So we want to play the right way. You are the mismatch. You are a guard, he's a big guy. Okay, I understand he's agile, he can block, but you can still engage him and make a pass. And somebody else will explore another mismatch. Or you are not sure, go, go, go. Huh? But staying there, no decision is like wrong decision. Okay, let's go. Play. Bravo. Excellent. Excellent. We play. We play. Stop. Hey. Finish. Okay. Ah. You understand? I run this very, very often. There are good days. There are solid days. There are terrible days. Because you have to think to run this drill. They have to explore the situation inside mismatch outside mismatch how to help they don't have weak side so i saw smart players because sometimes you need to give i make you this scenario it's a tie game you cannot solve all the problems with a tra trap because if you trap one player is open and you know better than me Three-point shot is winning game. So, let's see. We have this mismatch. Okay? On the side. Come on the side. Go on top. She can shoot. This mismatch. Paul goes in. This happens in a game. Broken play. His job is to take the momentum of his one-on-one. -on -one. So maybe we don't want to trap because we don't want to receive a three-point shot. It's enough that he does like this and he's not so aggressive. Eight, seven, six, five. And we win that play. Winning this play at the end of the game means winning the game. So you cannot trap but you can do something. And I push my players to take decisions. And I let them 
make mistakes because look first time you say you cannot let, let him alone okay so ball goes in ball goes in and I said ah, the coach told me I have to help yes I go to help go in the corner go in the corner go in the corner ball out three-point shot but the coach told me to help but I lost the game so don't be afraid to make them take some decisions that are out of the book you don't win games with the book you build a system with the book you build habits with the book but then players play coaches coach I truly believe that the coach can impact in the final result for 10% not more so maybe next time I tell him hey fake you are long do this and stay with the shooter and he will pick up the dribble no mismatch <laughs>